Are you ready to add a unique futuristic touch to your 3D model? Today we are diving into one of Blender's most underrated tools, the wireframe modifier. Whether you are creating intricate patterns, abstract designs, or that sci-fi look, this modifier will take your 3D model to the next level. Stick around as I'll guide you step by step create stunning wireframe effect that will wow your audience. Let's start by adding a basic object. I'll use a sphere for this example, but feel free to experiment with other shapes too. So just delete this default cube, select and press X, delete. For adding sphere, press shift A, go to the mesh and select UV sphere. With the sphere selected, go to the wrench icon, add modifier and click on wireframe modifier. You will see your model instantly transform into a mesh like wireframe structure. You can see that. Now here is where the fun begins. Let's play with the setting a bit, adjust the thickness to control how thick or thin the wireframe lines are. You can see and you can also toggle replace original if you want to keep the original mesh along with the wireframe structure. You can see that. Okay. Now this is material and crease edges. This is to give your wireframe more polish. Try tweaking the material offset and crease edge. There are great if you are layering with materials or need your edge to pop a bit more. Okay, so let's create some materials. Okay, go to the material tab, add new, create a blue one, metallic, decrease roughness, one more, pink one and uh, metallic. Play with this according to your shade that you want into your mesh. I want, I just give lookup to the material uh, setting in the modifier. Okay, let's create green one. Actually, I want to show you this is for what. Okay, let's go to the shading viewport. You can see this is our mesh and showing materials. If you increase it, it switch to the other one. You can see it create the wireframe structure pink one and you can see that it change that we create. This is a quick and easy way to create beautiful wireframe models in Blender. If this tutorial helped you or sparked some new ideas, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are ready to learn more Blender tricks and grow your 3D skills, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future tutorial. Share this video with other who would love to elevate their 3D creations and let's keep building together. Thanks for watching and happy building.